Hey everybody, it's me, Gemma, and today I want to talk about series that I need to finish. <laughs> so I think like most of Booktube, I have started quite a few different series, not all of which I've finished, quite frankly. Um, some because the final book isn't out yet, some because I have just been distracted by other shiny things that come along like I'm not gonna lie sometimes I can be like a magpie I'm like oh look there oh look that that's so shiny there we go so <laughs> I need to sort of knuckle down with a few series because I've spent the money and bought the books as well so don't waste your money Gemma so the first one I need to finish I'm going to talk about today is the Witchlands series. Now this isn't finished the series but there are another two books in the series that I have not yet read. I really did enjoy Truth Witch. I thought it was a great new world that um, Susan Dennard had introduced. I really liked the characters. I thought it was really good you know people having an individual witchy power um, and I really liked the characters so I really also loved Azale and what was the other? Safi. Azale and Safi being thread sisters, being best friends. Excellent stuff. So, yeah, I need to finish the Witchland series in time for the new one coming out. Right. So, next series I need to continue on with is The Ruthless Gods by Emily A. Duncan. Does this series have an actual name? I think it's just Ruthless Gods series. Yeah, I need to read this. I pre-ordered it because I I really did enjoy Wicked Saints. It was slightly not what I was looking for. I was slightly disappointed by the hype over it, but I really think that this book could take it to the next level and I like the sound of everything that Emily A. Duncan has said about the series, so I'm looking forward to that. And just as we're standing, you can see on my shelf behind me, Kingsbane by Claire Legrand. I need to read this. I, I love Claire Legrand. She's one of my favourite authors now. I really loved Furyborn and I also loved Sawkill Girls, which is one of my favourite books of all time. So I love the way Claire Legrand... Mm -hmm. I love... I love the way that Claire Legrand writes female characters and I'm just looking forward to it. It's just one of those ones that I think sometimes, especially when I buy books and paperback and hardback, sorry, I take longer to read them. Is that strange? Does anyone else do that? Like, you buy a hardback and it's beautiful and it's sitting on your shelf like, ooh, and then you read your paperbacks quicker? Just me? No? So then we have a booktube darling, Six of Crows. I haven't read it yet. I read the Grisha trilogy end of last year, beginning of this year. And I did enjoy it. I just hated Mal so much. So people have said Six of Crows. Oh, hello, Leah Bean. Hello. Hello, hello. Yes, hello. So I have not yet read Six of Crows. I will read it. I just it's one of those books where I'm like, so many other people love it and I don't want to hate it. You know? So yeah. So the other series I need to continue is the Bear and the Nightingale series. Um The Winter of the Witch. I read The Bear and the Nightingale this month, really loved it, and I am looking forward to The Girl in the Tower. I also have the last one as well and I probably will read these pretty quickly I would say because I think I managed to read um, The Bear and the Nightingale in two or three hours sorry I'm also petting my dog as I'm talking because she's down there you know cute um yeah so I need to finish this series it is a completed series and I don't need to wait for any books to come out so then I also need to finish the Queen of the Tearling series by Erica Johansson. Read the first one this month, gave it five stars and loved it. 
I started Invasion of the Tearling, which is book number two, and this is book number three, The Fate of the Tearling. Now, I'm going to say this again. I really don't like the way that this book is blurbed. On the front, it's like, meet the next Katniss Everdeen. Kelsey Glynn is not Katniss Everdeen. They are not the same. So, yeah, that's the only thing that annoys me, and it put me off reading it, but I looked beyond the cover, and I need to finish this series. Also, need to open the door for the dogs. So, also on my list of series to finish is the Bone Season series by Samantha Shannon. I picked this up after reading The Priory of the Orange Tree last year, which is so big you could murder someone with it, but mm, it's so good, and I so recommend it. Right. Sorry, go, go, go. There's a child that lives near me that my dogs always bark at. I don't know why, but I always have to call them in when he's out, so I had to go get him. Before I was interrupted there by the barking, I also need to finish the Mime Order, the Bone Season series by Samantha Shannon. Again, I was, I don't know why, I don't think I really read the blurb before I bought it, but I was expecting it to be a fantasy, but it's actually a dystopian. Nevertheless, I really enjoyed it. It had a really different sort of world building so I think the main order is yeah the main order is in the next one and I will get around to it at some point. Now also uh, I need to read the next one is Realm of Ash by Tasha Sturey. I absolutely loved the first book in this and it was yeah Empire of Sand. It had the most mm, Berlin romance. It's Eastern, Middle Eastern inspired mythology great new sort of world characters i'm looking forward to this it's not um not a direct sequel so you can maybe see the really bad braiding job i did at the back um it's not going to be a direct sequel but it's a companion novel so we'll get there i'll just do a nervous <laughs> as i hold these this is what's left for me of the kitty norville series it is by Carrie Vaughan. It's about a werewolf called Kitty who is also a radio DJ and it's all about her pack and her life and overarching, you know, usual um, urban fantasy plots and things like that. So I really enjoy these. They're really quick to sort of sail through. I've already read like eight of them, I think. So I usually pick these up when or if I'm in a bit of a slump because... I can take one of these in, run a bath, pour some bubble bath in and eat, you know, devour it in, in the bath. So I need to really read this. <laughs> I'm laughing because I still haven't read Dark <laughs> Um, I loved God's Grave. I loved Nevernight. I love the series and I really want to read it, but it's just one of those ones where I haven't sat myself down and made myself read it yet. I see those tweets and it's like, booktubers be like, I'm really excited for this book and then don't pick it up for two years. Don't attack me like that on Twitter, please. I see myself in the tweet and I keep like it. So, yeah, I need to read that one. Um, yeah, I've got a lot to read. And that's not counting the standalones and things that I have as well. What can I say? I have read a lot of books and read a lot of books. I actually sold some on Music Magpie I went on and sold a good couple of boxes of them. Um, basically in order to finance more book buying. So <laughs> that will probably happen again next month. So yeah, if there's anything you think that I should pick up sooner rather than later and you've read and really loved, then let me know down below in the comments and stay safe, wear a mask, take care of each other. Bye!